Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, so originally I planned this week to film like a get ready with me and my Ulta haul. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see I did an Ulta haul. <clears throat> I used a gift card and a bunch of rewards points I had, so I was really excited. But it has been a, a rough week. <laughs> I am sitting down in my husband's office, as you can see. Um, this very unflattering color in here, <laughs> especially when I don't have makeup on. I have my lighting. Um, I don't, like I'm not put together. Normally I would like try to get ready for a video, but honestly, like I'm just, I'm exhausted and I wanna make my beauty videos and my lifestyle videos, but I just, this week it's just not like clicking. So Emerson is taking a nap right now. Her napping has been really all over the place and she's been really fussy. Definitely in that like four month sleep regression type phase. But really honestly, all I wanted to film was just talking about like what life really is like with three kids. And while <clears throat> I appreciate a lot of the advice and a lot of encouragement, I wanna say that for those of us moms who have three or more children, um, it is very hard to balance giving everyone attention and also filling your own cup and making sure you're taken care of, making sure they're taken care of. And you know, I am, and I've mentioned this, I am so tired. Like the sleep deprivation and the lack of good quality sleep is very crippling <laughs> for me as it is for most people and not being able to get like those good nights of sleep are really hard and it's it it's just i'm exhausted and it's really easy to like look at a mom and be like oh like well just you know get rest when you can or rest when the baby rests and if you have three or more children that's just not possible um if you don't if you have one or two kids and you think that you know and you think you've got a handle on it but i just feel like for me transitioning to three has been extremely hard i struggled transitioning from one to two <laughs> and i thought this was going to be fine i thought i was going to be able to handle it well and i gravely miss like um I really underestimated how hard of an adjustment it was gonna be and so you know it is a very hard adjustment it is I feel very frazzled and the reality of it is it's just it is just very hard and I love my children obviously we're not questioning that I just wanted to make this video because I feel like you see a lot of vlogs and a lot of mommy vloggers they've got it all together and they're showing you like the highlights and the very you know happy parts of the day and it just looks like things are seamless and then you may start to feel bad about yourself being like wow my kids don't behave like that or my baby is not you know doing those same things or you know it just it can make you feel bad about yourself and I just want to be real and be realistic with you all that you know it is hard and if you're struggling like you not alone there is a lot of struggle in motherhood and it's extremely worth it no one is denying that we are not arguing that it's not worth it but it is important to allow yourself to have the time and the space to validate your feelings and you know be accepting of that and I think it's hard because we want to be the best moms that we can, but you know, most of the time we're running on empty. I know I have been, I'm exhausted. I was 
in tears earlier just because I'm so exhausted, so frustrated. And, you know, as people and as supporters, we often want to be like, well, you know, here's what you can do or here's, you know, what helped me or blah, 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 blah. And it's like, that's great and that's wonderful to offer support. But sometimes you just need to be acknowledged and, you know, you just need someone to say, you know what, you're right, that sucks. That, that feeling is not fun instead of trying to figure out how to make it go away or oh but you should be so lucky that you have them like obviously we understand that we're lucky um but it doesn't take away from the fact that it is very hard it is very draining and you know i wanted to get ready today i wanted to do my makeup and do my hair and get like fully dressed i'm wearing sweatpants from two days ago and you know um it's just hard it's very hard and you know the hardest thing about having three children is really the amount of energy that you expend taking care of everyone else and how little energy you get to expend on yourself which sometimes you really need to recharge and you can't and it's not because of, you know your spouse or it's not it's not anyone's fault it's not because you're being neglected or you don't have help it's just because you can't there's just so much going on so many people need you that you can't and those moments are really really hard and so that's like my opinion the hardest thing about having three is consistently having to pull from your energy reserves and your mental reserves and your patience reserves like you have to be able to continue to work you know it's kind of like if you were at a job your job go to a job i don't i'm a stay-at-home mom if you went to a job and it's kind of like you know it's your time to clock out and you're exhausted and you worked really hard but you can't like for whatever reason you cannot cannot stop working that is what it is like being a mom especially having more than one having one kid is hard okay we're not arguing that I agree having more than one is really hard it is tricky it becomes a matter of being strategic in how you're giving attention and how you are timing your day out and it feels like for me that I cannot keep up like I just am like laundry dishes toys stuff things events doctor's appointments like it's so much that it is very draining and it is just very hard and so obviously other mommies out there know this it's not like this is new information but I really wanted to this year be serious about my youtube channel and uploading a vlog every week instead of if you've been around for a while you could probably see like i will get into a really good groove and i'll be posting and i will be uploading and it'll be going really well and then usually what happens is i get extremely overwhelmed and i shut down and i don't want to do that i want to be consistent and i want to have something for me that's consistent and so that's why i'm making this video because i wanted to film something happy exciting i wanted to film you know my ulta haul and i have a valentine's day makeup tutorial that i want to film and i have just a lot of things that i want to do but it requires me to have more than 10 minutes of time to film and right now i just don't have that and so this is me coming to you where i am this week which is very tired i just drank like 20 ounces of coffee to try to wake myself up because she went down for a nap and my daughter just got home from school so you know it's go 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 and i just wanted to talk to you guys and show you you know real life and this is real life and it's what it is and it's great i love my family and i love my children but it is very hard and very tactical so if you find yourself feeling the same way 
you are not alone. It, I don't wanna say it gets easier. <laughs> you get better at it. You adapt over time and you learn and you grow and evolve as a mother. And I think that it makes some things easier. Um, but yeah, so that's this week. That's how I'm feeling. That's real life. I'm not trying to be a glamorous YouTube mommy. I'm just trying to be myself. And so, yeah, that's it. That's all I had to say today. So if you hung around until now, thank you for listening to my rant. And uh, tell me below in the comments uh, how many kids you have and something that you realized after you had kids that um, you felt like was the hardest thing that you may not have been expecting. I'm anxious to see what other moms experience and feel as well. So I'm gonna go because I can hear them starting to stir. And I will see you guys next time.